I create a three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface. So it's like an illusion, right? You're not just creating something so real, you're creating something real that you could either feel like you could put your hand through the canvas or pick out something from the canvas. My name is Ken Mwajibu. A lot of people call me Ken Art. I'm a three-dimensional hyper-realist. I fell in love with art through watching um, amazing Instagram artists like Kevin O'Carfo. Right, I used to follow him up a lot of times on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter, and he posts a lot of works. And you know, I got intrigued, like how possible can this be? Is this like, um, are they using some kind of printer or something? So I decided to uncover the idea of creating something that real, and then I stumbled upon hyperrealism. Oh my God. I used to go to some galleries, you know, small galleries, small studios, you know, beg them, please, I want to learn how to paint, I want to learn how to draw, they're like, I used to study art, and I'm like, no, they're like, mm, when you want to study art, come and study art, finish your art course, then you can come back. That's almost like, I right, finished my senior in five years, finish art four years, that's nine years, and come back to learn, that's almost 10 years, I couldn't do that, so basically what I kept doing was, Trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. And I didn't have any training whatsoever. It was just basically my, you know, my drive and my determination. Play by play of how I create my piece. So the first scene is the greeting. I first have to greet my pieces. People say, people discriminate people that greed. I don't know why, but I feel whatever makes you create what you want to create do right if putting the projector on your canvas will make you re create that art piece that masterpiece and do it so first of all i start with greeting i greet my image i greet the work i greet the canvas after greeting i do the outlining because i need to outline the faces but after outlining then i start my practice my processes which is adding the charcoal adding the graphite blending the charcoal um, adding um, the highlights and everything and then eventually pa, 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 my piece is created so what the office of art I wish I created who wouldn't wish to have created Sabato Monty like that which I think that is the most that's the most amazing piece if not Sabato Monty then I'll be looking at the Basquiat pieces you know Basquiat sort of inspired the style I started I started writing things on my on my works and it was from that inspiration from Basquiat because Basquiat was a doc Basquiat documents and you know he does not just create art, he documents things. So I started making my art more like a documentary at the same time as an art piece. The hardest piece of work I have ever created. Witnesses. Basically witnesses is a piece that has to do with 30 different eyes just watching a new part. Each of these people that own these eyes, they have stories and these eyes tend to represent their stories. So I had to travel around to find the eyes of 30 different people, friends that I feel have strong stories to tell. So I traveled to like Abuja, I traveled to like Enugu to find these different eyes and I took the pictures and you know I created these different eyes with these different stories, with these different expressions. So it took me, I think, a total of like, I think, one, one, one and a half months. Well, somebody was uh, telling me that, ah, easy, you don't dance too much, or else you make a mistake. Art is a mistake. Mistake is art. Right? So, you can't mess up an art piece, you just not finish it. So, all my art pieces are perfect, but just that I have not finished some. So, this piece personally is titled Puss Cat. Puss Cat doesn't title of this piece. Yeah.